strike couldn't save you. Yo, alright. <laughs> I was gonna cut that out, bro, but that was really lit. Classic Craig or Craig's Classics, man. However y'all see it, just don't forget that my name is Craig. And we are back. Never left, actually, but we are back <laughs> with another episode of The Ghost of Sashumi. Sashuri. Sashumi. What? What is it called? Tsushima. The Ghost of Tsushima. I don't know why I forgot that fast. But we back, man. And actually, right now... Well, right now, actually, I found a golden bird, so we're gonna follow Buster him. Uh, let's see where he's going. Is that where you was going? Bird. Yeah, that's where it was. Going. Calm down. Who's been taken? The invaders took our house. So I wasn't doing this. Road. I was actually on my the way to here. find that. With uh, my son. You left your family behind. What choice did I have? I'm no warrior. <sighs> I'll help them. Stay here. <laughs> I was on my way to find that that uh that dude, the myth. I was on my way to find them so I could learn a new move. Um, but little golden golden birdie took me to a side mission real quick, so we finna hop on this. But yeah, man, we back with this. Like I said, we have not, never actually left. As you can see, I'm rocking the same clothes that I was already wearing. So I never stopped playing. I just you know. Started recording again. So we back. We finna go save this dude family. If you guys are liking the series again, please leave a like, comment, let me know how you feel, what you want me to do better, what you want me to change, how you feeling. And as always, man, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Sorry, had to concentrate there. <laughs> yeah, if you haven't already. Oh, whoa! Who are you? Oh no. Off me. Yeah, I just purchased that new move, by the way. To say no for son my, of the family here for my, uh, my intro but yeah if y'all digging the series make sure y'all leave a like man and uh yeah we uh we just recruited lady masako she took a little longer than expected because we was dealing with a little slippery snake but we back in action now as i mentioned uh i'm knocking out this side mission Aren't i actually might cut out that. some that of this stuff, stuff like stuff that's not important i mean this might be important we'll figure it out later but like side quests that don't really do anything for the story or don't really affect anything i might just skip that out as a matter a of fact blood. and uh, someone was keeping it sweet with the main mission so yeah man let me know how y'all feeling Bodies and uh let's get into it thrown in the water i already kind of got into it because we literally just killed a few folks a child's toy it's a toy his family didn't survive i should let him know Dang, bro. My lord, did you find them? Hmm. Your family 
was killed. I'm sorry. Why didn't you save them? I ran. Like a coward. Okay. I should be dead too. Why didn't I save them? It's not your fault. Don't let their deaths be in vain. Resist the invaders. Help those in need. Yes, my lord. Yo, I really should have not. <laughs> I should have not have. I should. I should not have kept recording consistently this is four episodes in and i still don't know if the quality and everything is going to be up to par so if these four episodes come out trash and i have to replay all this i'm going to be devastated i'm going to let you know that right now and i might not even replay it i might just have the trash quality for the first four episodes but i feel like everything should be okay the streams came out pretty good so i don't see why the recording shouldn't team, don't we? who killed these people a fearsome warrior. He demanded I tell him the tale of Shigenori's heavenly strike. When he didn't hear the answers he sought, he flew into a rage and butchered them. What did he want to know? I am not sure, my lord. Tell me the story. I need to know what he's after. When Tsushima was first settled, a strange and terrible thunderstorm swept across our island. Wherever lightning struck, beasts of lightning appeared. These violent creatures tore through villages, causing death and destruction, moving too quickly to be stopped. The people knew only one man who could possibly stand against the lightning beasts. Shigenori, the fastest swordsman in all of Tsushima. Shigenori never lost a duel. With years of practice, he had created the Heavenly Strike, an attack that struck quicker than the eye could follow. Shigenori lured the creatures to a desolate beach in Komatsu, where the sand would slow their movement. Their clash turned the sand to ash and bleached the leaves of trees white. Shigenori's heavenly strike cut through them faster than they could move. As the final beast fell, the storm cleared, and Tsushima was safe again. Shigenori began a life of seclusion. Few students found him, and only the bravest and most skilled proved worthy of learning the heavenly strike. When a storm approaches, a sword is placed at Shigenori's rest by a student who knows of its location to ward off attacks from beasts of nature. Sound like Cap to me. The murderer wishes to learn Shigenori's heavenly strike. It sounds dangerous in the wrong hands. Which way did he go? A woman fled toward a nearby bridge. He chased her. He'll answer for what he did here. There's a cutscene? Boss fight? What is this? That must be Shigenori's dueling ring. What has Yasuhira been doing? Poor man. Killed by Yasuhira. Is that that grandfather? Blade has seen many tools. Footprints, still fresh. Yasuhira Kuko, the butcher of the rebellion. The time hasn't changed you. You were a child when Yarikawa burned, boy. For 15 years, I dreamed of cutting Lord Shimura to the bone. You won't live long enough to face him. The old man taught me the legendary attack before I killed him. Let me show you. Alright guys, our first boss battle. This 
first. Waiting, studying, learning. Oh, my God. save you yo all right <laughs> i was gonna cut that out bro but that was really lit really just killed this man with a lightning strike you deserve greater respect than this i'm a grave let's go I promise I'll use Shigenori's technique to protect Tsushima against all who would harm it. Yes. Leveled up again, y'all. I am now the people's hope. Let's go. So what's this? Oh, so I can choose. Those explosive establish nearby enemies. <laughs> Cause enemies to lose sight of you. Yeah, I'm using smoke bomb. Incense mixed with black powder creates thick smoke. Enough to blind my enemies. The Kishi grasslands. Straw hat mercenaries were seen in the area. Mongol convoy ambushed. Could be the straw hats doing. Attack started here, but there had to be more than one Mongol. Let's go. We finally made it, man. I've been recording for an hour, and I just now got to the mission. <laughs> Looks like more bodies up ahead. <laughs> Trying to get away from his attackers. You look like a scarecrow. You've looked better too. <laughs> Can I have my hat? You're a mercenary now. Professional warrior. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for your leader. He died on Komodo Beach. You were there too. I lost a lot of friends. We all did. 
and we Yo, can avenge them if we work together. Help me save Lord Shimura. He's alive. The straw hats are hurt, starving. I can't ask them to risk their lives for one man. Even if you can name your price? Once we free our home, Lord Shimura will pay you anything you want. My men might be interested. Your men? I look out for them. Someone has to. Okay, my boy he is the leader. Do we have a deal? I'll think about it. Let's go. Hey, hold your ground. I always do. I shall oh, no, This is for Komoda Beach. Kill them all. for the water stance. I don't even know what the water stance is, so let's get it. Your form has improved. And you managed to grow a beard. <laughs> you managed to grow a beard. Have you considered my offer? The Straw Hats can't save your uncle. We'll be lucky if we survive the week. It's that bad? We're starving. I was out here hunting for food. And I'm returning to my men empty-handed. But not alone. Take me to your camp. We'll figure something out on the road. <laughs> Just like old times. So no time on me. <laughs> Come on. When was the last time we saw each other? Two summers ago. Lord Nagao's tournament. I looked for you after the tournament ended. The Straw Hats saw our duel. They needed a new sword. It seemed like fun. Why didn't you tell me you were at Komoda? You were busy with the other samurai lords. I was sharing a drink with my men. I could have used a drink before that battle. Yeah. I'll bet. Yo, so we got a childhood friend that ended up being a straw hat mer mercenary. And we finna recruit my mans. Let's go. I thought he was gonna talk more, but we can go ahead and hit the road at speed. Another wagon. Might have something we can salvage. Empty. Samurai! Samurai! 
Was this your wagon? Yes, my lord. Mongols stole my horse, took my rice. You're lucky that's all you lost. Which way did the Mongols go? Toward Fort Ohira. Damn it. Take refuge at the Golden Temple. Warn others to stay off these roads. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Let's keep moving. My camp's not far. <laughs> So we headed to I the... meant what I said before. Help free Lord Shimura, and he'll grant you anything in his power. What's he got the power to give? Name your price. Free sake for life. Is that all? A place to drink. Big enough for all my men. Be serious, Ryuzo. I know you want to be more than a mercenary. It's been three years, Jin. Things change. It can't have been easy keeping the Straw Hats together after Komodo Beach. How did you do it? I convinced them nobody can save us but ourselves. That's true. I used to think so. But it's starting to feel like a lie. How many men do you have? We're down by half, but still enough to call ourselves a small army. Oh, Why? Yeah, we need your peasant said the Mongols stole his rice and went to Fort Ohira. You think they're hoarding food there? Possibly. You have an idea? The beginning of one. Easy, Shinzo. It's me. <laughs> Who's, who goes there? Evie boy is the leader. He's here. He use those back. <laughs> About time. I don't see any food. Who's the samurai? Men, this is my old friend, Lord Sakai. Yuzo told me you're starving. I'm here to help. You didn't find food. We have a plan. Raid Fort Ohira and take back the food Mongols have stolen from our people. Raid a fort? They'll kill us! Give us a moment. Come with me, Jin. So your army, man, they ain't sounding too confident, bro. They sound a little scared, to be honest. We should have talked about your idea before telling my men. I wanted to give them hope. That's my job. I meant no disrespect. It's fine. Through here, Jin. If you ride with the straw hats, you have to look the part. I've got a spare set of armor that should fit. Ooh. Better not have lice. Never letting me forget that, are you? Spare armor's in the chest. Wanna get that Ronin outfit, boy? <laughs> You're not as handsome as me, but... It's not bad. <laughs> we should check the fort's defenses. Look for weak spots. My men will handle that part. Then we have a deal? Get us that food at the fort Ohira. And we'll get your uncle away from the Mongols. Thank you, Yuzo. Just remember who's in charge of the straw hats. I would never dream of replacing you, my friend. Give us a head start. We'll meet you at the old cemetery. See you there. Yo, I'm liking this Ronin outfit, bruh. That ain't look like it might be mad comfortable, too. Men, we're moving out. I meant to ask you something earlier. What up, bro? I might have an answer. How'd you survive the invasion? I almost didn't. A peasant pulled me from the battlefield. She nursed me back to health. <laughs> you always were lucky. How did you and your men escape? We ran. Do what you need to prepare. I'll see you at the old cemetery.
I wonder if I can like fast travel here now. Okay, yeah, I can fast travel. So I'm about to fast travel to what's here that I can use a boar. Uh, yeah, I'm about to fast travel here real quick. Level up some stuff and then go into this mission. You know. Come, my lord. The story of Uchitsune awaits. You're telling me another story. <laughs> Long ago, an emperor and his palace were plagued by a winged demon. The emperor sent for Uchitsune, the most renowned archer of his time, who wielded a bow blessed by Akami. When the demon next came, Uchitsune was ready, long bow in hand. His aim was truer, and his arrows flew farther than any archers in Japan. Uchitsune loosed a single arrow. It pierced the demon's heart. As it fell to the ground, it cursed Uchitsune with its final breath. Soon after, Uchitsune saw the forms of the demon everywhere. His legendary bow never missed, but each arrow that hit its mark was met with a very human scream. The trail of bodies led to his capture. Though many called for Uchitsune's death, the Emperor felt pity for him. Uchitsune was banished to Tsushima Island. He died years later, alone and forgotten by all but a few. The demon slaying Longbow has remained hidden here since his passing. Some say it awaits a worthy master. Others believe it still holds the demon's curse. I ain't really that pressed over a bow, bro. It was a nice story, but I ain't finna go out my way to catch it real quick. Uh, not yet. I'm gonna go ahead and get this color change on my, my um, Cursed enough. stuff. The bow sounds powerful. Get to this. Take care, my lord. The bow place. inspires darkness in those who seek it. I'll bear that in mind. The question is where to begin looking. To quiet his mind, Uchitsune often walked the coast, obsessed with the blue hydrangeas that grew there. Perhaps they'll provide a clue. Must be there. Which is in his longbow. Am I really going to fight a demon, bro? Where am I? The bow is cursed. You will see nothing but death to the end of your days. Oh my God. Man, 
I did all this to freaking die. <laughs> Yo, he killed me crazy too. So the the boat really was cursed though, cause what is this world that I'm in with all these freaking demons flying around? <laughs> First, I'll drive the Mongols from our home. After that, I'll worry about curses. You see, I'm beasting on the now. demons will haunt you. came around me like that like i like animals and stuff like that but birds for some reason bro just don't do it for me the curse of uchitsune High damage and zoom, but long draw time. You cannot crouch while aiming. Explosive arrow shot by the longbow. Explodes after impact and night and bystanders. All right, y'all. So I was not planning on doing that side mission, but it was like right there. So I thought it was gonna be a little quick one, but I was obviously wrong, man. They sent me on a whole nother wild goose chase to find this boy and arrow. We did find it, however, so I can't complain, but I'm gonna call that an episode cause it's already going on an hour and a half, man, almost two hours. And I have a lot of editing to do. So if you guys are enjoying the series, please make sure that you leave a comment or a like. I meant to say like first, but make sure you leave a like, comment. I'm getting tired. You can tell it's getting to me. Um, and as always, make sure you guys leave a subscription, man. Or make sure you guys subscribe. See, I can't even get my words right. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for more of this content, man. As I mentioned, we're 14 subscribers away from the 50 goal. So let's get there by the end of this month, hopefully, man. And uh, keep it pushing, man. As always, it's your boy, Classic Craig. I ain't gonna lie. I might try to push out one video because I really got to start knocking out these main missions. I've been doing straight side missions, but... We'll see, man. As always, it's your boy, Classic Craig, or Craig's Classics, however y'all say it. Just don't forget that my name is Craig, and I will catch y'all in the next video. Peace.